Hello and welcome to this How Tech video tutorial. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to create charts in Excel. So what I want to do is I want to take this whole row and I want to make a chart of it. So to do that, we'll just select it. And instead of selecting the current quote, I'll just hold control and select the rest here. So now we can go ahead and hit insert. And we're going to insert whatever chart we want. We have bar graphs, we have hierarchy graphs, we have all sorts of other things, line charts, statistic charts, combinations of anything. But for this I'll just add in a simple line chart. And there's our graph right there. And we can go ahead and just position it down a bit. And what I want to do now is I want to just change the... So I want to add a legend to it right on the right there. So I'll go ahead and insert the legend as a chart element and I'll select data and I'll hit edit and I want it to say current quote. However you can see that that also changed our title. So we need to fix that. We can edit the title just like this. Call it company one and you can see that we cannot edit the quote from here. So I also want to change these numbers into the dates. And to do that, we just need to go ahead and right click it. Right around there, hit select data. And we'll go over to the right column this time. It says horizontal axis labels, which is what we want. Not the legend entries on the left. So hit edit, and I have the dates already right here. And then we hit OK. Hit OK again, and we have some options on the right to change how they show up there. We can change the numbering for it. Maybe instead of that code, we'll take the day first and then month. Now if we hit M just once, it'll show it in number format. If you do it three times, then it'll do the first three letters of that month. So now I do want some tick marks on there. I'll have some majors on the outside. You can see them very faintly. And we have some text options. And we can change it how it's facing. We can make it horizontal. We can switch it around. We can rotate the text. We can also give it some effects, give it a text fill if we wanted to. Now right click it and we can hit the font and we have a lot more options here. We can bold it, make it stand out more. And I'll position it down a bit more. And the nice thing about having the dates right down here is that you can use the same dates for every single company graph that you make. Any single other chart that you make, you don't have to keep on creating new data for that you can just use the same selection. And we will just do the same steps for the other charts. This has been a How Tech video tutorial. Please like, subscribe, comment, and thank you for watching.